Women remain woefully underrepresented in the transportation sector. The women in this book have chosen to share their intimate stories with you and the world in an effort to change the future for all women in transportation. One of the things that I recognized was that you had to be able to do public speaking. That's one of the things that's really helped me the most as I've gone into leadership positions, was being able to understand how to frame a speech and move forward with those. You need to understand what your value is. Everything is a negotiation, you don't take it. It's a skill that I, you really need to develop. You have to learn how to speak up for what you're worth. They hired a consulting firm to look at what they paid their employees and they evaluated what I was doing for them as a company and thought, you are so underpaying this person, I got a 20% increase just because the consultant told them they had to. I think responsibility is probably is more important than the title itself. The downside of working for a big company is you know, you easily they will stuck you just in one role because as long as they figure out you are good at one thing, they're gonna let you repeat to yourself. I think you know you need to get out of your comfortable zone, and you know try to pursue new opportunities so that can expand your skill set. Being aware of what's going on in your community really adds value to you, uh, to your employer as well as to the things that you can talk about and be interested in. This network thing has to do with connections, which are sometimes random, sometimes very planned, but they're a part of life. And when you go to work for a firm, you think now you're just starting on there, but when you come in, you bring a network with you. The students are well positioned to develop very strong professional networks. The logical place to start is in the professional societies. If you stick with the professional societies, you, you get an opportunity for low-risk skill building. And if you're effective in the profession that is important to your employer, then you will amplify opportunities with your employer. My uh, definition of failure is uh, not fully uh, realizing and uh, utilizing your potential. If you feel too comfortable in your current job, it might be the time you need to think beyond the box. One of the most important things I learned in school was to differentiate between a good decision and a good outcome. Good decisions are consistent with risk tolerance and our state of information, but they don't guarantee good outcomes. I evaluate uh, job changes in terms of learning opportunities. You diversify your portfolio. Um, that just positions you to be responsible for a larger set of activities. So I think, frankly, lateral moves are a very good strategy. Not only did I take a demotion, it was a cut in pay, for my personal well-being, it was the thing I felt in my heart I had to do. And I felt every day that I was building, in some way or the other, my aviation career. And when, I, when it came back together, I was able to move forward. If you follow your heart, something that brings you joy and you feel good about what you're doing, it's not as much work to do it. It's not going to work, it's going to joy, it's going to excitement, it's going to learning, whatever it is. Dragging yourself off to some job that somebody else thinks is a good idea is no way to be happy.